Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Tina here and today I get to share with you the unboxing of the Spellbinders Kid of the Month for November and this is the new packaging. Isn't it so pretty? I love that Spellbinders has just made so many awesome changes to their kits and this packaging is just fantastic. In fact, when it came in the mail, I thought it was a birthday gift. <laughs> My birthday was this month and so I thought, well, I got a new present in the mail, but it was a crafty present. So we're going to take a look at inside. When you open up your package, it's wrapped like a present. And I love that. love the little details. I just think it makes it look so special. I'm going to open this box up and then set it aside. We're going to take a look at everything in this kit. And it's packed filled with goodies. Starting off with a content sheet that has three inspirational cards on the front. On the reverse side, he has step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this beautiful card here. Kind of like a recipe card for card making. <laughs> now, I, I always like to start with the cardstock because it shows the color palette of the kit. So we're going to grab that. You get six sheets of cardstock that are 8.5 by 11. You get a black. You get a blue here. You get a white. Now each of these cardstock sheets are textured and I'm going to try and hit the light so the camera will pick it up. There we go. But I love texture on cards and this is just like an added bonus. You get the green and the brown and then you get the red. Also included is a 12, or 8 and a half by 11 sheet of gold foil cardstock that's double sided. So beautiful color palette here. Great for the holidays. <laughs> Now, also, as always, in the Spellbinders kit, you get 10 card bases that are 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches. They're pre-scored and folded with the same texture as your cardstock here. This makes card making super easy, and I like that they include this in the kit. And again, you get 10 of these. Makes everything easy peasy when you want to create. <laughs> they also include 10 envelopes. And I have to say, I always run out of envelopes, so having those in the kit is perfect. <laughs> now we're going to take a look at the Dear Santa 6x6 paper pad. This is a 42 sheet paper pad. And I love that Spellbinders has been including their own paper pad in the kits. I like 6x6 paper pads because they are scaled down for card making. This one has some beautiful gold accents in it and some beautiful patterns. Um, they have multicolored patterns and then there's also two-tone patterns. Um, love the newspaper print and snowflakes. This ornament has some gold accents to it also. But there's three sheets of each pattern and they're single-sided and they coordinate with your papers just beautifully. And then it just repeats itself. So this is the Dear Santa paper pad. Love that. Okay, next we're going to take a look at the stamp set. I love that Spellbinders is including stamp sets in their kits. And this is super pretty because of the ornament. I'm an ornament fan and I love ornaments on cards. I'm just going to grab my scissors. We'll open this up. Okay, here's your stamp set. You get the beautiful ornament here and then you get the little topper that goes on it and then you get some elements like the deer and the snowflake and then some elements to stamp on the inside of your ornament you get joy noel and peace and then two other beautiful sentiments here so I love this now this is not um, well it's almost a 4 by 6 stamp set it's just a little bit shy of the 6 inch mark so it's uh, nice to have this included in the kit. Love that. Now we get to look at the dies. Now I'm so excited about these dies. There's 19 in total and there's a lot of um, smaller pieces, but the majority of the pieces create a beautiful reindeer and the scale of it is perfect for card making. And I'm going to kind of arrange it to where you can see it. I actually, in just a little bit, I'm going to show you a still shot of what it looks like when it's put together. But that's your reindeer ears, the top part of his head. Then you get the little hat. And then you get the little antlers, of course. And then you get 
these are little eyelashes. So you can make a beautiful little girl reindeer, which is so cute. And then um, you get two other eyelashes in here, or eyes, I should say. And then here we go. Here is the picture of the reindeer. And you can see the detail that you could create a beautiful reindeer with. So you can make a boy or a girl. You get the beautiful poinsettia flower. And then you also get the sentiment that says season's greetings in a beautiful font here. Um, the little flower has the poinsettia centers also. But here's your sentiment die. So 19 in total. And this is so fun, especially um, knowing that the cardstock that was included in the kit will create, you know, like the brown for the reindeer's antlers. And then um, the red for the poinsettia flower and the green for the leaves. So it's really well thought out. And I, I appreciate that. You also get this sentiment um, chipboard sticker sheet uh, package. There's eight sentiment banners in here, and they are fantastic. They're dimensional with the foam adhesive on the back. So all you do is peel and stick, and there's gold accents as well. You also get this sticker sheet, and this is a dimensional sticker sheet. And these have um, layers of chipboard, so they're nice and thick and sturdy. And then there's foil accent along with some beautiful gems on each one of those elements. You even get the Mary, which is just beautiful. So you get that full package. Now we're going to open up this little goodie bag. This has some journaling tags in it. And then it also has three small um, little envelopes that are in craft card stock. They're pre-scored, so all you have to do is fold them to create your envelope. This is the smallest one of the three. And the back on this is unique because all you do is just put them inside of each other to close it. But it's the perfect size for the tops of your cards, or even these would be so cute as little notes to put in little stockings. So you get those, and then you get three of the four by six, I think they're four by six journaling cards. Great for scrapbooking, but there's scenes on here that would be great for scene building on a card. There are two sided, so you get the front and the back. And then here's this one. I love the trees on this one. You also get three drawing tabs that are smaller, and I think these are three by four inches. Yes. And these are two sided as well. So these are perfect um, elements. This one here is actually used on your tutorial here. So love that. Here's your last one with the cute little gingerbread house. <laughs> So we'll put all these elements back in the package so I don't lose them. There's so much in this kit and I, I didn't want to lose any of the pieces. With this kit, I will be making 10 cards with one kit. So keep a lookout for that. Also included is a ephemera pack and there are tons of ephemera pieces in here and you get two of each of the patterns. I'm going to grab some white cardstock and show you each one of the elements that come in this pack. Um, these have gold foiling also, and you get beautiful images, and an, there's so many that I get to talk while I get to show you what's in the pack. Now, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Spellbinders kits, that um, they are only, if you live in the United States, they're only $35 for a kit, and that includes the shipping. So this is a great value for a kit. Um, I think if you look at everything you get in the kit, it, it's fantastic, especially if you minus shipping these days. So I'll leave links below in case you want to check it out. But that's U.S. only for uh, shipping included. Now, if you're international and you're interested in this kit, um, if you go to the Spellbinder shop, in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little icon. Mine has a little flag on it, but if you click on that and you choose the country that you live in, click on it. It is a, con a currency converter, which is fantastic because I'm a price shopper and I like looking at prices whenever I shop. And so if you guys are international or are interested in the Spellbinder shop, click on that little icon and it'll change everything over into the currency um, that you live in, which is fantastic. So again, links will be below for you. And I'm still going with the Infebra. There's a lot more. So I can talk a little bit more. I also wanted to let you know that new in the Spellbinder shop are 
individual kit contents. So what this means is if you don't want the kit but you really love the paper pad, Spellbinders is now offering the kit extras in the shop and I'll leave a link to that page um, down below. But kit extras include like stamp sets, the paper pad, um, the ephemera packs. If you want an extra one, throw that in your cart with your kit and then you can have an extra one. And I'm still going with the ephemera. But basically that's all I wanted to um, tell you while I was showing you the ephemera is that if you're international, click that little icon um, and it'll change the currency from US dollars into the currency to where you live. And then also the new add-ons over at the Spellbinder shop. So that is all the ephemera. Fantastic package there. <laughs> I'm going to put it all back in the package. That way, again, I won't lose any of the pieces. And we'll move on with the kit. Now, you get this little sticker sheet. And it's glitter sticker that says Warm Wishes. And it has some fun little stars. You just remove it from the release paper and it sticks beautifully on your pro projects. You have to worry about glue or anything. You get some enamel dots along with some enamel stars that coordinate with everything perfectly with the colors. You get some baker's twine. And also you get some washi tape. Now I'm not a big huge washi tape fan, but if it's gold or silver, or even a copper, I love it because it's versatile. And this is beautiful gold glitter washi tape. What I like to do is put it on cardstock and then use my dies and run it through my die cut machine. And then it makes um, some gold accents for my cards. So you get a full roll of the washi tape there. And then, last but not least, you get your foam um, dimensional adhesive and then your double-sided sticky tape. Everything you need to create your cards is in this little box. In fact, I've always said this before that it's great for travel because all you need is basically your essentials like your glue, your scissors, and maybe your stamping block and some inks. But everything's here for you. I thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment in the, the uh, comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But I'm so looking forward to creating with this kit. In fact, I'm only going to be using the kit contents when I create my cards. So keep a lookout for that. Have a fantastic day, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.